So in the last episode, I showed you guys transitions from the show Sherlock Holmes. Today we're going to change it up a little bit and analyze the work of Edgar Wright, who's the director of Shaun of the Dead, Baby Driver, and Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, just to name a few. So Edgar Wright is well known for these movies that I just mentioned. There are many aspects of his work that I really love, but today we're just going to focus on the transitions and effects that he uses in most of his movies. So the first thing that Edgar Wright is known for are his jump cuts. Jump cuts are clips in between two main scenes, kind of like this. But that was kind of boring. Edgar Wright adds a lot of sound effects and at times he zooms in during the jump cuts just to make it a bit more interesting. So something like this. That was better, right? To edit something like this, you need everything to move and change quickly. For each clip, after about one frame in, I hit the transform button, keyframed it, and then moved a few more frames to the right, and then enlarged the scale size at the end. This will give it that fast zoom in effect like how Edgar Wright does it in his movies. After this, I added in sound effects for each clip to make the jump cut segment stand out even more. So before we talk about the next transition, I just want to let you guys know that Pixel Film Studios, the sponsors for this video, has just released hundreds of free Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials all on their YouTube channel. So if you guys like how-tos and Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, I highly suggest that you check it out. Now you're probably asking, what's the catch? Well, there is none. They simply made it free for you guys to view and help evolve your editing game. They have beginner to advanced level stuff on there, so it doesn't really matter what level editor you are. I'm sure you'll find something there that'll help you out. And also, they're constantly giving away free camera gear and equipment. They've given away a bunch already, and I'm pretty sure there's some active ones right now. So make sure to check out their YouTube channels, their social media platforms, to see what they have going on. And also like, subscribe, and share their content if you really like it. I'll be leaving all the links for this in the description down below. Let's show these guys some love for creating this for the Final Cut Pro community. Now let's continue. Continue on with the video. Hello. Hi. So Edgar Wright uses a lot of wipes and pass by transitions to introduce the next scene. The second transition we'll take a look at is the one that he used in the movie Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. So the scene starts off with two people talking on the phone side by side in the split screen and then it quickly moves to the right revealing the next scene. They also used the sound of the bell and text on the screen to help with the transition. So basically he had everything moving to the right. Then he used the sound of the bell and the text to bring it all together. So to recreate this effect I'll be on the phone talking to Mills just talking about how I forgot to pick him up from school. And then we're gonna wipe to the right side to slowly reveal the school and Mills waiting for me to pick him up. Dude, you forgot to pick me up. Oh man. The first part I will film in the office. And then the second part I'll have Mills talking on the phone. And then the last part will be the white movement with Mills waiting at the school. To do this effect, I first placed the custom generator on the project timeline. This way, I can move around the clips that I place on top a lot easier. Next, I place my office talking clip on the project timeline. I then place a school wipe shot below it. To make the transition a bit faster, I speed ramp the end of the top clip and the beginning of the bottom clip. To do this, press R on your keyboard and select the part you want to speed up. Then change the speed to around 2 times or more. Do this for both clips. Now look for a draw mask tool and place it on the top clip. Make four simple keyframes. Click invert, add a lot of feathering, and then add a keyframe to that, and also add keyframes to transforms and control points. Then move it to the side so it is out of frame. Change your view size if needed. Right around the spot where my monitor starts to show up, I will move the masking effect to start to reveal the next clip. Then just move a few frames over again and readjust the masking. Keep doing this until the bottom clip has fully been revealed. 
You can move the bottom clip around to time it better with the top clip if needed. The next part is adding in the flying text. I created a 1920 by 1080 layer on Photoshop and added a bunch of B's and R's beside each other. You can do this on whatever program you have. Just make sure to export it as a PNG file so that the background is transparent when you drag it onto Final Cut. So now drag it on the part where you kind of want it to start. Change the scale size, then move it all the way to the right so it is out of frame. Then move all the way to the part where you want the flying text to end. Mine will be roughly around 30 frames in. Now add in the sound of the school bell ringing, plus other sound effects to make your clips come to life. Color grade as well and you are good to go. Dude, you forgot to pick me up. Oh man. So the next one isn't a typical transition, but the way he does it makes the change from clip to clip look really entertaining and visually appealing. And I'm talking about editing to the beat. So this is something that Edgar Wright does that helps make his movies stand out even more. Almost everything in his movies are synced to the beat. The expressions, the actions, and the movements, everything is synced to the beat. This is definitely easy to recreate, as all you would really need to do is ensure that, that you line up each important movement and action with the beat of the track. So as you can see in all the examples I was talking about, Edgar Wright is a creative genius. Not only does he use these transitions so smoothly, but they blend in so well with his storytelling and it never seems too overpowering. He uses a ton of other scene transitions in his movies, but I'll make sure to cover that in a future episode since I don't want this one to drag on too long. So make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification button so whenever I post a new video like this one, you guys will be notified. It's my time in my prime, this the prime time, pretty content.